You may have heard the opening called the Sicilian Defense. You might be aware of the existence, but I've heard the name somewhere, or maybe even play it yourself. It's known as one of the most fighting responses to E4, and a good choice if Black wants to play for a win. In this game, in the British Championship played in 2012, English Grandmaster Gawain Jones launches a stunning attack on the White King with multiple brilliancies. So we see Gawain Jones versus David J. Ledger again as this played in the British Championship. And you might be thinking, oh, well, what, some 2600 crushes to 2200? Well, obviously this game is going to be won, but most of these games will be ended with like some pawn promotion or long end game where uh, Black wins a pawn out of the opening and then slowly grinds out. But no, it's not what happened here. So I've got the game review on just so you can see the amount of moves that are happening. I mean, look at the amount of book moves here. So we see the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, the classical variation, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. This is the open Sicilian, knight to f6, just continuing to develop, knight c3, this is all theory still. G6, going for the dragon variation. Bishop to E3. Bishop G7. Oops. F3. This is known as the Yugoslav attack. Basically, the idea is F3 doesn't weaken the king at all in the slightest, especially with the dark square bishop being on G6. And just solidifies white center and readies him for attack against black when he moves like H4 or stuff like that. So we see knight C6, queen D2, castles. Bishop to c4, just putting a pressure on that f7 pawn. Probably not the most active square for Bishop and Sicilians. You might want that to be on e2 to support your h pawn push, but again, Bishop to c4 played. Theory, Bishop d7, long castles, and rook to b8. Preparing to launch an attack on that white king. We see Bishop to b3 and knight a5, trying to trade that bishop so uh, black will have the uncontested light square bishop. It was a big advantage to these sort of structures. So we see h4 and then b5 by Jones, launched the attack, wasting no time. But he just wants to get at that white king and shred open its defences so we can get its big pieces in there and hopefully get a nice checkmate. So we see h5, again white also wasting no time, h4, h5, such a typical idea in these structures with the pawn on g6. He just wants to crack open that black king and start an attack of his own. So this is like a typical dragon or open Sicilian where white is attacking on the king side wants to checkmate black and black is attacking on the queen side trying to checkmate white. So always very entertaining games and don't get too many draws from positions like this. So we see knight c4, attacking both the queen and the bishops and now jones is going to get one of the bishops so of course he has a trade his opponent captures with the light square bishop which is a great move because you don't want to give up that dark square bishop and uh, whenever black has a square a bishop on g7 and the dark square bishop gets traded it can become extremely strong it's called an uncontested dsb dark square bishop and then this diagonal can just get if it gets open this bishop can wreak havoc on the position so of course wants to have the light square bishop it's very wise for his opponent we see b takes and then h takes g6 uh, White just wants to get something started over on the king side, but maybe a little bit premature here. All his pieces aren't quite geared up for the attack just yet. So of course, Jones recaps with the f pawn. Doesn't want to give White the h file, getting the rook into the game again. Now basically all his pieces are developed. This rook has been half developed, quote unquote, for free. So the b rook is in the game, the f rook is sort of in the game. This bishop's nicely placed, and this knight is put ready to maybe rotate into center quite quickly. So as we can see, trouble is already brewing for the white position. And we see bishop to h6. Gawain's opponent just wants to try and trade off that bishop. But obviously, he's not going to waste any time. Just going to go queen to b6. Uh, white can trade this if he wants, but the initiative towards black king is already getting quite strong. I mean, you have to avoid the check on b2, which would be mate. So, of course, has to deal with that threat. b3, the best move. And then c takes b3. Jones wants to open that up. Of course, recaptures. And here comes quite a key moment in the position. It's not quite clear how you should continue the attack. Should you even let white trade your bishop? Maybe you want that to be uncontested, as I mentioned before. There's even moves like... Bishop H8, maybe not here, but sometimes you can even sacrifice that rook because the bishop can be so strong on this diagonal. Maybe you want to go A5, maybe you want to push the E pawn in the middle, although that would leave your D5 square quite weak. Maybe you think this knight isn't great, you want to rotate back to the game. Well, Jones decides the best way to continue, the engine agrees, is bishop takes H6. Beginning with trading the bishop because once you lure this queen or this rook away from the post of the white king, this attack is going to be absolutely unstoppable, and that's what we see unfold. So queen takes... Then we see rook to f7, of course. He wants to overprotect that mate, so now the knight or the rook can move. And then we see queen to g5. His opponent realizes there's nothing to do in the h-file. If he wants something there, he wants two rooks to attack that king. And Jones just continues. Rook to c8. Now that rook is x-raying that king. It has a bit of tempo on knight, so knight has to hop away. Thinks he's trying to trail off the pieces, getting himself closer to a draw against the grandmaster. Then Jones decides to capture. And after e takes, he goes queen to a5. Beginning a big initiative on the white king. Of course, he ends that this is a mistake, but, but of course, in extremely complicated positions like this, it's very hard to be stock level of accuracy. 
So we see king to b2, just trying to cover up these weak dark squares with the king. You know, it's never wrong to defend with your king, but things can get a bit dicey quite quickly. And Jones decides to strike in the center, thinks the time is right. He goes e5. Of course, white can capture on Passant, but it's just going to lead to the bishop pressuring more squares around white's kings. Of course, doesn't want to allow that. He's had to drop the knight back. Jones just goes bishop to f5, putting some pressure on that very weak c2 pawn. And his opponent goes rook d2 defending. He decides to ask a few more questions, cause a few more problems. He goes rook to b7. Now that pawn is pinned, maybe he can infiltrate on those weak dark squares. His opponent goes rook to a1, desperately trying to cover up, but then Jones decides to rotate his queen out of there, just goes queen c5, further pressure on that c2 pawn, and now white's position is on the brink of collapse. You know, one wrong step could result in him getting mated. And the engine only has white's uh, black advantage as being absolutely massive. So he proceeds rook c1 play, desperately trying to defend. That's that pawn, it's just so weak, it's so hard to defend it. And this queen, it just took the pawn uh, bishop early in the game. It's still offside. The queen has no way to even get back and defend. It's not like he can come back to e3 because, of course, black would just takes. So it's very hard to even defend your own king. Jones goes king to g7, wants to almost copy black in the way. He wants to control the dark squares around his king with his king. Again, a smart idea. And then we see g4 just grabbing some space on the king side. White desperately trying to attack black to stop himself getting mated. He thinks maybe if I can get an attack and checkmate him first, he's not going to checkmate me. But Jones doesn't care about the bishop. He goes h6, danger levels. If you take my bishop, I'll take your queen. So of course, attacking a piece of higher value, the queen has to move. We see queen to h4, just sliding out of the way. And then Jones decides, you know that light square bishop, he doesn't really need it that much. Bishop takes c2. Of course, sacrificing a full bishop just to begin the attack on the white king. So then we see rook c, takes c2. Jones just goes, rook takes b3 check. Doesn't need that rook either. Let's be honest, why do you need that rook? Of course, you cannot capture this rook. If you want to capture this rook, you've got rook to b8 check, king to a2, and queen a5 mate. It's a very simple ladder mate after that checkmate, but given a brilliant move by the engine, obviously quite a tricky move to spot, because your queen is hanging as well, obviously it is check. King to c1, and then queen to a3 check. Again, those weak dark squares, now they're really a problem. King d1, rook b1 check, not mate just yet. It looks quite scary, but the knight luckily defend recovers that up for now. Knight c1, and then queen takes f3 check. And after rook to e2, queen d3 check. Jones' opponent actually resigned the game here because what happens next is unstoppable. I think the engine found a very nice continuation here. After any sort of rook blocks, you've got queen to f1 check. And Jones actually threatening another brilliant move. So of course, you would block with the queen, the only move and he's threatening to sacrifice the rook. Because with rook takes c1, after you capture, you can just capture again, and the king has to move. So the king obviously has no squares. You can't go here, you can't go here. So you have to take that rook, and then you lose your queen. So very nice attacking play from Gawain Jones. Absolutely stunning sacrifices to break through in the end. Thank you for watching. If you really enjoyed that, it helped me out. If you could really benefit the channel, if you can like or comment. And if you want to see more content like this, you could subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.